All right, 727, wow, 727 on the clock as we start this reading. Hello, everyone. How is your day going so far? Aries the Emperor here, back with another general reading for the Aries Collective. I hope everyone is doing well. I just wanted to come on here and relay um, a quick message. We're going to pull some random messages from Spirit. Um, I just felt the push to come on here, so here I am. All right, I have your birthday candle, so we're going to go ahead and light it. Happy birthday to everyone who is celebrating their birthdays. Um, Friday, I was not able to come on here, so happy birthday to all of you who celebrated yesterday and to all of you who will be celebrating your birthday, okay? Aries season, baby. All right, so let's jump in. I'm getting like excitement, anxiety, like all at the same time. I'm feeling a rush. So this very well could be feelings that you are having of some sort here emotionally wise. Um, it could be a loss of some sort that you're feeling, Scorpio energy. Um, but let's jump in and see what messages here um, that spirit has for you, okay? All right. Holy Spirit, angels, guides of the highest white lights. Right, what messages? Ooh. I had a bunch fall out, okay? I'm not going to take all of them. Spirit. And thank you guys, everyone who's liked and subscribed to the channel, um, all of your birthday wishes. Um, I, the website is still 20% off all readings and candles at this time. I will be debuting a new candle here soon. I'm very excited about, so stay tuned. Okay. And if you'd like to connect with me, I'll leave all my info in the description box below. So we have the Ten of Pentacles, all right, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, Ten of Pentacles is Cancer, the Five of Wands, Leo energy, the Four of Wands, Aries energy, the Wheel of Fortune, Sagittarius, the Chariot, Cancer energy. Sorry, the lighting is a little bright, so it may be blurring the camera uh, just a little bit. What you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Moon card, Pisces energy, okay? So I don't know why I'm getting the word expansion here. Um, uh, this may be something that you're wanting to experience here that you um, have been steadfastly working on something um, that is fulfilling you emotionally and monetarily, or you may have an idea um, of something that you can introduce that's something new or never been seen of, or maybe this is just you as an individual introducing yourself in a new way um, that people are seeing more value on and, and something that they've never seen in you before. Something that is um, very prophetic, I will say in a way, or um, just very surprised that the battles that you have gone through have more so shaped you and structured you and opened up new pathways of success for you um, emotionally. Uh, you taking back charge of your life and you being determined, you know, not just um, chasing things in life, you know, you are, you're goal oriented, um, you know, there's an end game to what you are doing here. Um, and I feel like um, this could be a, an issue for those around you, especially those closest um, that you may have grown up with confirmation. Uh, thank you, spirit or people that you thought would really be here to celebrate you in the long run um, are really are having an issue with um, I'm getting power struggle of some sort here. It's like you are gaining this this type of power about yourself. You have this insight, especially with the moon card here. This is Pisces energy. Um, you It's taken a time. You know, you've gone through a test or two here, but each and every time is elevating you mentally, um, spiritually. You're closer to spirit or, or closer to God, to Allah, you know, whoever you um, proclaim to here. Um, but this is something that's happening in a very successful way for you. And one where I feel like you're even surprised here, okay? But don't be. 
You are being divinely led here. Aries, the four of wands is here and it's next to the wheel of fortune, um, Sagittarius energy. So you were fated to go through a thing or two, but you are also fated um, to eighth house energy. Get out of that and jump into greater things. Uh, Jupiter is vast. So, you know, one thing about life is it can get better. Okay, sometimes you just got to put your, your willpower, the strength, you know, the, the last ounce that you got up in you and really reach high, you know, and I feel like you could be being watched as well here as you are going through these changes, um, but it's positive here. And at the same time, you are human. You are not going to be perfect um, in any way, shape or form. And that's never the goal. And people are always going to judge you. Um, when you shake shit up and you make them question their morals and their traditions and their values, um, I feel like that's the type of energy you give when you walk in the room, you know, and you make people see things in a different lens and, and give you an opportunity or I just feel like um, you bring on change in a, in, a, in, a, in a store here. Strength card, which is Leo energy here. There's something very authentic about you when it comes to the way that you care for others um, and I feel like it's something wow that people don't get over the devil card popped out it's like I feel like people try and get you into these toxic cycles so that you'll be in some type of merry-go-round but it does not end in that way here you know you are divinely guided the hangman so when you're just about to get duped i feel like spirit is like eh, eh, eh. you know devil get up off me not this one you know you you're not gonna win um when it comes up to and i feel like that's people trying to bring out the 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 evil side in you so to speak the low vibrational side you have reached a, a part or um you've reached um what am i trying to say a certain point in your life where those things are are beneath you you know they're gonna have to do more than that to try and ruffle your feathers or to get you out of character you know and I feel like this is people talking negatively about you you know because when you do good things and when you change there people are always gonna have something to say about it uh, but spirit is saying continue you are grounded um, and like I mentioned, being divinely led here, three of wands, you know, you are going places that you've never gone before, possibly seeing faces that you've never seen before, meeting new people, getting in new friend circles is what I'm hearing because uh, the devil was also 10th house energy and um, Sagittarius is philosophy, learning more, um, being that lifelong student with the queen of swords, learning from your mistakes here and calling bullshit out on future ones, especially people trying to pull the wool over on your eyes here. It's a no-go in this queen of swords energy here. Look at this. The judgment flew out of my hand. It's a no-go when they're trying to get one over on you collective, all right? And I love that. You know, the queen of wands is like I mentioned in the last reading. She's in the clouds for a reason so she can see, see you coming you know, and pick it out before you even get up there. If you even get a chance to get up there where she is up in those clouds, you know, I feel like that's where your intelligence is going as far as when you handle people. And, and, and I'm not even going to utter words to you if I see this type of energy coming. Oh, the emperor. And you know this person don't play no games, okay? I'm going to get ready to close this reading out. I just wanted to <laughs> pop on here. But y'all not playing. And you're in the energy that you need to be, you know. Three of Swords, Gemini energy, no more losses, no more one-sidedness here. If they can't get with the program, then find somebody that can. And I mean that in the relationship. Or I don't tell anybody to leave their relationship, but I'm just saying, you know, you... Pull the Ten of Pentacles as your first card here in the Wheel of Fortune here. So you are fated in your own right to be amazing and, and go far in life and do destined things um, in a major way here. Not just, um, it's not just about the people around you here, okay? Nobody's going to take your spot. 
is what spirit is saying. So be you. You're destined to win in the skin that you win, you know. Ten of swords, you know. They this is what they want you to do. Give up on yourself. But you're going to lovers energy, the opposite of this. This could be a Gemini you're dealing with, or you could have Gemini placements highly aspected in your chart. But this is like I said, be you, love on you. And this right here, it doesn't stand a chance here. It is a ten of swords, you know. It's you closing out a chapter on everything that was meant to oppress you and bring you under, you know. You still are going to prevail under God. All right, hit that like and subscribe button for more messages from me. I'll catch you guys later. Ciao.